This video was recorded on the afternoon of Monday, October 18th during a drive from my house in Northeast Minneapolis to Timberwolf CrossFit in St. Paul, Minnesota. Of the two disengagements that occur along this drive, both were my fault and not the cars, which is even more impressive. This video includes a great mix of busy city and freeway driving, pedestrians jaywalking, kamikaze bicyclists, and more. Well, without further ado, let's go for a drive. Here the car attempts to center itself between the lines as two lanes merge into one, and unfortunately my grip on the steering wheel was a bit too tight. This is the first of two disengagements that were the result of operator error on my part. Because people typically slow down and turn right into the school parking lot ahead, I perform an automatic lane change to get in the leftmost lane. I then perform another automatic lane change to get back in the right lane after passing the school. It is now time to turn right onto a busy I-35, where we will then be heading towards Highway 36. The car does an awesome job of quickly turning right, requiring zero input from me, the driver. As we get a little further down the entrance ramp, I apply a bit of throttle input to help the car accelerate up to the speed limit. I just want to highlight how well the car performs here while merging on I-35. Merging is a difficult task for most Minnesotan drivers and I'm confident Tesla's current software stack can outperform at least half of the drivers out there based on my personal experience. Since we are in the middle of rush hour at this time, I double check the selected route is the fastest by re-entering my destination into the navigation. In order to make the upcoming transition to Highway 36, the car needs to get over to the second lane from the left. Since this stretch of road was recently expanded, the in-car maps are out of date and thus results in the car making an extra lane change. The car is smart enough to pick up on this mistake and properly moves back over to the second lane from the left.
Autopilot does a great job here of slowing down on its own and jumping on the Highway 36 on route. As it continues on the on-ramp, the car properly stops for the ramp metering lights. While FSD Beta technically does everything right here, I would like for it to orient the car to the left or right in future builds as there are technically two lanes on the on-ramp. This is pretty consistent for all similar entrance ramps in the Twin Cities. Even with wall-to-wall -wall traffic, FSD Bay does a great job of finding a spot and properly merging with traffic. Again, I can't highlight enough how big of a deal this is, as I see human drivers every day struggle with similar scenarios. Just like with the previous merge on the Highway 36, the car does an excellent job here merging on I-35E in peak rush hour traffic requiring zero intervention from me. After spending 20 minutes in stop and go traffic, it is now time to exit I-35E onto St. Clair Avenue. With traffic joining from the right, this intersection can sometimes be tricky for a lot of human drivers. FSD Beta in this situation does a great job following the curbing and comfortably stops at the stop sign. St. Clair Avenue is always busy, especially during rush hour. However, it doesn't seem to phase FSD Beta here. The car properly checks traffic in both directions and then safely proceeds with the left turn. As we approach this next intersection, you will notice that a bicyclist is fast approaching from the right. Initially, it appears as if he is going to blow the stop sign and the car reacts accordingly by hitting the brakes. Once I confirm the bicyclist is coming to a full stop, I apply a bit of throttle input here so the car will proceed through the intersection. Next up is the intersection of St. Clair Avenue and Oneida Street, which is always busy this time of day. The car does a great job of coming to a complete stop, double checking for traffic, and then proceeding safely through the intersection.
Last up is, in my opinion, one of the worst intersections in all of St. Paul. As we approach the intersection, the car stops just short of the crosswalk on West 7th Street. With the light about to change, I had a bit of throttle input here to get the car to proceed with the left turn, which it completes successfully. In future FSD beta builds, I would like to see the car creep forward just past the crosswalk while it waits a turn once it is clear to do so. Timberwolf CrossFit is now in view, however, as I look up, I notice an older woman in the middle of the road. The car detects her immediately and begins to slow down. Her initial body language seems to indicate that she is going to wait for me to pass before crossing, so I add a little bit of throttle input here. As I get closer, it appears that she is no longer going to wait, and instead makes a beeline for the sidewalk. I initially go for the accelerator to get around her, however, before I'm able to reach for the brake, Tesla's automatic emergency braking kicks in. With the car now quickly decelerating, I am able to add brake input, which safely brings the car to a complete stop well before the woman crossing the road. I consider this disengagement my fault as I should have followed FSD Beta's lead and let the car yield to her even when she indicated she was going to wait for me to pass. It just goes to show you how even when you are confident in your driving abilities, the computer can think and react much faster than any human brain. To show you just how fast all of this happened, I will now replay this clip at normal speed. Considering all the variables thrown at FSD Beta in this video, I have to say it handled everything extremely well. I am confident Tesla is on the right track here with the latest FSD Beta stack, and I am excited to see what is coming with version 10.3. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we will look for you on the next one.